Hello, everyone. Ooh. Welcome to the Stream Void Podcast, episode 112. Wow. Yes, it is January the 15th, 2023. It is. The year of our Lord. Wow. 2023. Luffy D. Monkey, though he's our Lord. Yup, Luffy D. Monkey. Yeah. Yes, we are, well, you are, we are also, but you mainly are listening to the Stream Void Podcast. Mm -hmm. This is a show about life and video games and everything in between. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you are and i am mikey t and of course across from me is curb stomp Hi. we're going out of order today because okay. i don't know what i'm doing that's all right <laughs> you know it's been mix a it up. full week since we recorded the keep podcast i've completely forgotten how to do it that's okay you gotta <laughs> keep it spicy forgotten. and switch yes. it up it's true it's true oh so i'll ask you sir mm -hmm. how was your week week was pretty good i feel a lot better after falling down a few times after christmas ribs are pretty well all healed up i don't like get woken up by them in the nighttime and i can breathe deeply and I can <laughs> sneeze and I can cough and I can uh, do all those sort of things. The only time I even remembered I had injured them was today. I bent over to tie up my shoes and I was just like, oh, yeah, my ribs are sore. <laughs> so it's pretty good. I uh, didn't work a full work week. I went home early a couple of days. But uh, on Friday, I worked all day and I was doing actual lifting and everything. So by the end of the day, I was like, wow, my back is really sore today because I was obviously <laughs> like compensating for the ribs, you know, Yeah. but uh, it was good. You know, I was all alone doing my thing. Quite nice. <laughs> Quite nice. Gross. Not. Come on. <laughs> I was doing work. I wasn't getting down on work, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's a little too dirty over there to get down, I think. It is pretty dirty from what I've seen. Yeah, it's pretty fucking dirty. <laughs> so I was just moving boxes and. I, it's like we have like, I don't know, 10,000 shirts of like various kinds, like golf shirts and collared dress shirts and shit. Yeah. And they're all kind of just sort of willy nilly. <laughs> so if you're like, I need an extra large, you have to like look through every pile to be like, OK, this is an extra large. Oh, it's not the right shirt. So I'm going through and like condensing and sorting them all down and everything. And it's, you know, it's taking a little bit of time, but it'll be way easier once it's done. It's so stupid how they had it over there. It's like, oh, this box has size two and size eight women's shirts in it. And this one has size nine and size 12. They're just mixed in there. It's like, that doesn't make any sense. Why didn't we just take care of this in the first place? <laughs> so that's kind of the way they operate over there. It's like, oh, just stack it. And then like, oh, well, we'll fix it later. It's like, fuck, why didn't we do it right the first time? Needs that true innovator in the, in the warehouse to fix it all up. Dude. It's kind of stupid how they run it over there. And there was probably like, I don't know, 30 just empty boxes. I'd open like there'd be halfway down the stack. I'd be like, OK, grab this box. Oh, it's, there's nothing even in it. <laughs> it's like, just an empty box. Halfway like they, down they the stack. tore open the front, pulled out all the shirts till it was empty and just ah, left it in there. <laughs> Oh, man. So fucking stupid. Yes. So, I hate that shit. Yeah. So that's once awful. once I'm done, it's going to be nice. But yeah. Now it's a little crazy. Uh, other than that, I I worked at the store a little bit. Uh, woman was a little annoying over there this week. Yeah. Not too bad, but, you know, she just, whatever. She wants to be, like, in the, have her finger in everything, mm -hmm. even though she doesn't know what's going on. So she'll, like, start talking about all this shit, and then the boss will get wind of it, and he'll then she'll be like, oh, never mind. So, yeah, I know. <laughs> You didn't need to get involved. <laughs> I already knew what was going on. Yeah. So, But the boss is on vacation, but he may as well not be on vacation because I'll be like, oh, it's 7 a.m. Oh, text from the boss. Ask me some <laughs> dumbass question. I'll be like, why do you need to know this now? Are you on vacation? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like he's asked me shit and I just like, why are you thinking about this when you're in Hawaii? <laughs> like, anyways, whatever. Yeah. When I go on vacation, the work phone just goes over there. And then, yeah, you know, I'm not. I'll never, look at it, you know, at no. like five o'clock and be like, fine, doesn't need me. If I'm on vacation, that's just like I'm not thinking <laughs> about work and I'm not. If someone messaged me about work, it'd be like, I'll get to you in a week's time. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't so. work out for me because I'm, you know, the yeah. manager. So you're you're the big boss now. So I kind of have to be on point. I don't have to do that. So anyways, uh, other than that, I don't think I really did anything too much this week. Did some gaming. Watched a couple things for the movie stream, <laughs> but it was pretty lazy other than that. Yeah. Yeah. Just recuperating still. Yeah. You know, I know you say it's not possible to catch up on sleep, but I was catching up on sleep. <laughs> it's definitely not possible. <laughs> <laughs> 
So you're always just at a negative for sleep? Yes. You From the day you're born, you're just like in the out negatives. Out of negatives, yeah. And you can never catch up? You can never catch up. So why? Well, here's the thing. The amount of sleep time is, that's just a made up thing. Yeah? It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. No. If you don't get enough sleep. Yeah, but enough sleep for you is yeah. not necessarily enough sleep for somebody else. Yeah, but I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about me. My personal sleep meter has evened out because I caught up on sleep. <laughs> It was down have here in the though? negatives, and now I'm like, have, have I yawned know? since I got here? Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. You've yawned once since you were here, but you know. That's because your conversation is so boring. It must be. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't remember yawning, but I'll take your word for it. <laughs> it was a small yawn that you sort of Maybe stifled. I stifled a laugh. Uh, no, no. No, it was, it was a yawn. You, you started yawning, and I was like, yeah, yeah, there, there's a little bit of a yawn, but uh, it, it was very okay, small. So it was I'm, minute. I'm, you oh, just needed an extra hit of oxygen in your lungs. I'm a little behind on the sleep. <laughs> I got like, I need an extra 30 minutes of sleep, and I'm all caught up. Yes. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of that. Just, well, I mean, anyways, when you're not, you, you know, you're injured, you need your rest. Yes. To heal up. Yes. So you, I've been, you, you heal better when you're yeah, asleep. So I've been doing that a lot because if, I was injured. If your body's not worried about moving around and digesting food and yeah. shit, then you can sleep better and, yeah. and heal more. Yeah. Yeah. What he said. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what about yourself? <laughs> uh, work. Wise, uh, did my was that this last week? I did the big presentation. Uh, you said, yeah, you talked about it last week that you were yes. gonna do it and making the PowerPoint, yeah, making PowerPoints, yeah. doing the big presentation that went off okay. I don't know, didn't really get any feedback. Everyone was said it, it was good via the internet, yeah, via Microsoft Teams because that's how we operate. How long did it last? Uh, like half an hour. I thought it was oh. gonna last longer, pshaw then, but I gave two presentations. And there were not many questions till after the end. Yeah. I mean, the whole meeting lasted probably about an hour. But the presentation probably only lasted half an hour. They just, no one's asked. I mean, whenever I've been in, un, have the unfortunate, like, circumstances to be in, like, a conference call like that, I would never ask a question. <laughs> because it's like, I don't understand, but I don't want to be on this conference call anymore. <laughs> I'll get clarification later. Yeah. And then when anyone asks a good question, I'd be like, oh, my God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you so stupid? I have mandatory two conference calls a week. And last week I had five. Oh, my God. <laughs> the worst. That's could they right. have, Could they have been replaced with a quick email? Uh, no. Oh. No, these were these were full on discussions. OK. About stuff. I mean, the one on two, one of the ones on Tuesday could have been in just like a quick email because there wasn't much to discuss mm -hmm. since. uh my project is non-existent right now. I hate that shit. <laughs> I hate that shit. But it was uh, no, it was all right. I enjoy talking to the our our project manager. Who I guess is that's from the main primary. I guess that's a little different too. If the people that you're dealing with aren't annoying as so. hell. Oh God, I had one on Monday too. Wow, even more. Yeah, this was a this was a uh, a training conference call mm. <laughs> with uh with one of the other primary contractors and and we went through it and we're like yeah we already know all this oh yeah we're literally already number one so <laughs> yeah get the fuck out of here with your bullshit just hang yeah, up on them there's there's a couple of new things in there that i was like okay this is how you guys want this done this seems good i think we'll 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 pick this up and start doing this from now on but a lot of the other stuff was just like yeah we already know yeah we're already number one on this <laughs> you kind of idiots stuff. what are you, who do you think you're talking <laughs> who do you think to we are? talking to mikey t here yeah, come on mikey t and the crew come on and the fiber friends exactly <laughs> Is that the name of your group chat? The Fiber Friends? Oh, I don't. I, I can you probably look at can't it. say I, the I, name I, I of gonna, it. On I'm gonna stream. look at it right now, and then I will say if I can actually tell you. You probably can't say what it is. On <laughs> what stream. it is because it's uh, it's probably something disgusting. <laughs> it it could be something disgusting. <laughs> change it to Fiber Friends for me. <laughs> it could be disgusting. You should change it I'm to not Fiber Friends. Really sure. Hang on. Uh, it's it's okay. No, it's it's not something disgusting. It's, okay. Uh, Oh, I can't view the full thing right now. It's Sky Captain S S U S G U S T U and the something else. What's with all the letters? Uh, they have their it's specific equipment. All those letters oh, acronyms. Okay. Uh, sheath grounding unit. And... Oh, sheath. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like. <laughs> allow me to place my sheath upon my phallus. <laughs> we will begin coitus post haste. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say the guys out there right now, they're we're rebuilding Lytton, right? 
Oh, and yeah. That place burned down. That place, yeah, it and sadly burned down twice. They had multiple fires there. Maybe that's when you throw in the years. towel, like, <laughs> ah, let's not rebuild. And so we're working on the highway, bringing, bringing stuff in. And on the lines, because there's a kilovolt line that crosses it, mm-hmm. the induction is is uh charging the cables with electricity mm. so when the guys are like opening the cables up to work on them they're getting electrocuted all the time from the kilovolt lines wow you need a ground <laughs> on that or yeah because the whoever we didn't build that particular line uh, some other people did mm-hmm. so now they gotta like every time they open one up they gotta put a ground rod in and ground the cables out <laughs> crazy yeah it's pretty crazy i was like what that's what it doesn't sound and it was uh, like not like minor shocks so like, like pretty does bad. that not affect the quality of the internet service i don't think so because it's That's it's weird. not electricity that goes down the no road. i know like, but you'd think that would cause some sort of interference <laughs> you'd think so anyways but no it doesn't okay it doesn't uh, yeah that was that was essentially my work week lots of I just picture him <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what it was. Oh, my God. And they will probably tell you <laughs> Good <gravy. laughs> when they listen to this. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, other than that, the rest of my week without working, did a mm-hmm. lot of vlogging. Oh, got the new baby. vlog went out, of course, after the podcast on Sunday. The new vlog will be coming out after the... Well, oh. actually, it'll come out during the podcast today. Oh, wow. It's a scheduled upload? Uh, yeah, there probably is going to be one coming out on Tuesday as well <gasps> because I filmed a lot of stuff. A lot oh, of stuff baby. happened this week where I filmed it. Any power washing? Uh, yeah, there will be power washing on the oh, next one because <laughs> I went out yesterday to do some filming. Yes, you did. Of uh, of the power washing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started moving all of my videos from one mm-hmm. channel to the next. Mm-hmm. And it turns out I don't have a lot of the source files for the stuff that I recorded when I was well that I edited while I was on the road. That's weird. I'm like, where the heck is all this stuff? I'm pretty sure I backed it up all of this hard drive, but it's not there. Huh? So I had to download a couple of the videos from YouTube to transfer them over mm, with, the, sad. with the thumbnails. Yeah, that's too so bad. they're not. I don't think they're full on 4K. No, no, I don't, don't think so. Think so. Uh, so yeah, moved all moved. I got most of the main ones over there. They're just scheduled to come out a couple every day, and yeah, a couple of lost ones. Uh, Thursday, no Wednesday night, did a little games night. Oh yeah. Had some had some people over to play some board games. Oh yeah, that's right. You did. Yeah, like, yeah. I messaged you and you yeah. didn't respond to me till like a little ways I after. I was just like, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't picked my phone up after that. Yeah, because I was too busy filming and, and yeah. It was like, do you want to play time. board games? We're having people over, and then I saw the message later, and I was like, does he mean right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm at home now. Like it's a little late for me to come over there now. Yeah. And then actually last night, uh, our mutual friend Miles invited me to play oh, the wow. latest version of Oligopoly. Oh, wow. Yeah. Crazy. I was like, damn it. I'm busy. Damn, that's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. I need that's to, his, uh, uh, his board game. Yeah, the one that he's created. Yeah. So I, I wonder if he's going to get that published anytime soon. I'm sure soon. he would like to try to. Oh, yeah, for sure. There's a lot of intricate pieces in there, which is it's kind of nice. He is a board game guy. Oh, yeah. And he is the... He's a good. I'm a, I'm a. I'm gonna totally diss him right now. He's a good guy, but playing board games with him not the funnest time I've ever had. No, because he's the type of guy will be like, okay, I'm gonna play this game. No one's played it before. Here's the rules. <laughs> so we learn the rules, and then it's like last turn, be like, oh, I forgot about this rule, but I win. <laughs> <laughs> it was unintentional, but it was just like, okay, <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah. I also did a lot of 3D printing. Not a lot, but, you know, some oh. 3D printing. I got my new filament in. Oh. Got it on the board, but this filament shrinks. It dries really quickly. Oh, and yeah. when it when it dries quickly, it shrinks on the, on the bed. So it doesn't, it didn't stay stuck to, like, the printing bed. Yeah. Oh. Because it's not, it's not hot enough down in the, in oh, the yeah. basement here to keep it stuck. Oh, so yeah. I had it shrinking on a couple of corners, which made it like bow up in the corner. I mean, the print turned out okay. It's it's usable for what it is because mm-hmm. it's just like a pen holder for the Gridfinity system, yeah. which uh, if you've watched the vlogs, you know what that is. Uh, and I unboxed the printer, filmed it all, and started editing it, mm-hmm. editing the unboxing video and my me putting it together and stuff. But mm-hmm. uh, the gar- the audio... It's garbage. It why? like it starts randomly distorting, and I'm like, "Why is it randomly distorting?" What like, mic were you using? I was using the the Rode uh, uh, wireless oh, Go yeah. twos, 
And I'm like, why are these, why is it distorting? Yeah. <laughs> like so distorting how? It would just like start distorting and then be distorted and then not distorted. It was like a, it was like a slow build. Like someone was turning the distortion dial up. Oh, crazy. And then back down again. I'm like, why is it doing this? Huh. And then I was editing the video again, trying to, another video. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that the, when the, I have the microphone like right up against my neck here. Mm -hmm. And so when I tilt my head and my flesh covers the microphone hole, it oh. distorts. Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, you should have the little muffler on there. I think that'll prevent it. Yeah, I think so as well. The other thing, too, I saw in your thing, I was like, why is Mikey's face blue? Like, what is going on? I couldn't figure it out. And I was like, oh, he's using the wireless mic and the blue power light is shining on his face. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I totally noticed it because I was like, why is his face blue here? This is That's so weird. weird. And then I was like, oh, he's using the road and he doesn't have the little muffler on it. Yeah, yeah. I took the muffler off because I didn't... Uh I didn't want to have it like super visible, but I guess it is super visible with the blue light. Yeah, yeah. I totally <laughs> noticed that because I was like, why is his face blue? So, yeah, you should slap the muffler back on there. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And yeah, I did a lot of filming with my phone, mm -hmm. but for some reason, the, I don't know if I talked about it last podcast, but the HV, HEVC oh, yeah, yeah. and co codec thing Doesn't plug in really wouldn't work. work. Yeah. And it, I couldn't use my, it wouldn't recognize my videos from my phone. Yeah. And so when I loaded them into uh, uh, DaVinci's Resolve, mm -hmm. it recognized them. But man, it was like 240p. It was like just garbage video. So I was like, oh, weird. Well, I did all this filming and I'm going to include it in this vlog. But yeah, it does not look good whatsoever. You just have to record your own voiceover. Just get out the parts of you when it shows your face talking and just show the above camera. Oh, yeah. And you have with to the... re-record oh, like, yeah. just your own audio. Yeah, I started doing that. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> and then line it all up. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be that's going to take some time. I was going to have that scheduled to come out today or no yesterday, but I'm like, oh, my God, I got to re-record so much audio for this. Yeah, <laughs> that sucks. But oh well, yeah. And I'm kind of still thinking about uh, what days I'm going to stream and if I'm going to be able to stream because editing takes up so much time. Mm -hmm. I need to find an editor for sure. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do any other YouTube video other than the vlogging at this moment just because it, it just takes so much time. Mm -hmm. You gotta like do the vlog. <laughs> you gotta like do the activities that you're doing. Yes. And then, you know, think of the way to film it all, get all that footage together. It's kind of working out right now with that because I'm editing every day. Mm -hmm. every, all the footage, I just get it off, edit it, and then it's done. And then I don't have like this big backlog of editing that needs to happen yeah. with the with the vlog, mm -hmm. which is working out. And Trello is definitely helping out with that, which is the. Uh, mm -hmm the management software that yeah. I'm using. I got to figure out how to actually use that Trello. Yeah, it works very well. I've created a uh, a Purple Room Studios one so that we can have kind of like a mm. a global one and I can invite you to the board. Maybe so that do that so I can actually look there. and see how you're using it. Yeah, Because sure. when I was looking at it, I just was like, why don't I just write this on a calendar? <laughs> like, what's the point of this? Uh, so I'll have to check it out, what you've done, and then maybe I'll have an idea. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Other than that, didn't really play any video games. No like, gaming? Uh, there was one VR game that I started playing. Mm -hmm. oh, what the hell is it called? I can't remember what the heck it What's is it called. About? It is a on-rails shooter. Oh, Gal to... Gun. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is an on-rails shooter. Yeah. Uh, no, it's called Pistol Whip. Pistol Whip? Yeah, Pistol Whip. Is it like um super hot? Kind of. Yeah. That's, it's kind of. It's on rails, but it's to a beat. So, like, you have to shoot to the music, reload to the music. Oh. And everything happens to the music. All the bad guys pop out to the music. Yeah. It's it's fairly fun. The graphics are really, like, they're they're very much in the vein of uh, super, uh, hot. super Hot, where they're very minimal. There's mm -hmm. lots of colors, though, going around, lots of glitching, mm -hmm. but they're very minimal. And there's a bunch of different storylines you can play through. So, the first one is you wake up on a planet and you have you get turned into like a robot and <laughs> you have to I fight your way robot. out of there hmm. to like some crazy electro techno beats interesting it's uh it's fairly fun the on rails part is very comfortable which is surprising because you know when you're moving without moving it, uh, oh, it yeah, can yeah. be very uncomfortable but with this it's uh it's fairly comfortable my only gripe is that you only have one gun Okay. You can't so dual wield? You can't dual wield. So actually when I was playing the first time, because when you're in the menu, you can whenever you shoot whichever gun, that's the gun it go hand it goes to. Oh yeah. And so I was selecting stuff with the left hand 
And so when I played that whole, th- oh, whole storyline, I had to shoot with, with my left, left hand. hand. I was like, what the this heck? Sucks. How do I switch? Yeah. And there's no way to switch it in the options. Like, wow. Big mistake. Yeah. yeah. And then the second one that I played is like a Wild West one. A Wild Wild West. <laughs> and you have the, the cool part was going on this train and you have to go from the back of the train to the front of the train. But then you like go through all the cars and suddenly there's like dudes on horses riding past you blast them with your <laughs> shotgun it's uh it's pretty fun i don't know why but when you talk about as soon as you start talking about doing riding from the back of a train to the front it made me think of that crazy four-player game we played that's in japan oh nippon, nippon marathon nippon marathon <laughs> yeah because there's a level where you're on the train the like bullet train yeah as soon as you said that i was just like, nippon marathon <laughs> i don't know why cool yeah, and that's uh, that's pretty much all yeah. I played, other than Barrow Trauma. The only game I really played a bit this week was um, Satisfactory. I don't know. I just sort of like randomly restart playing that occasionally. Yeah. I don't know why exactly it was, but I it's, it's in the new update seven or whatever, and I was like, ah, let me mess around with this. And I just got up to coal power last night, and you know, just messing about. But yeah, yeah. As I was playing it, I was uh, watching a YouTube video, and I learned uh, a new uh, a new thing that I never knew before, where whenever there'd be like a tall thing, like with one of those stupid orbs that would talk to you, you know, yeah, those, yeah, yeah. you'd build like ramps up to the top. But there's this guy playing, and he's like, oh yeah, I was trying to collect wood, and I found that you can just climb this, and there was like these wooden things on the side of the cliff face, like vines and shit, and he just climbed up the, ro- the wood. <laughs> And I was okay. like, wow, I didn't even know you could do that. I know. I was building like. Uh, yeah. A it's not on every extensions. place or whatever, but I was like, oh, that makes it a lot easier <laughs> if you pay attention to that. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Um, the the new blueprint system is pretty cool. Yeah. You messed around with blueprints at all? No, I haven't. Yeah. You build the big blueprint grid. It's like a big building. And then you lay down your whatever and you save it as a blueprint. Mm hmm. So, like, if you put down, what I did is I put down a splitter and put in the belts going into two smelters and then them joining together in another uh, merger at the other end. And you just save it as, like, you know, or whatever, 60. Yeah. And then when you find a thing that's getting 60 or you just pull up the blueprint, be like, put it down and it just builds the whole thing. It's all <laughs> nice. ready to go. It's like, damn, that is slick. Oh, yeah. I, so. I, they've had that in, in other factory games like Factorio, but uh, it's definitely needed in, in satis- was definitely needed yeah. in Satisfactory. Yeah, they keep uh, updating it to make it better. So, yeah. Yeah, pretty good. I'll probably play some more. And other than that, the only thing I did, well, last night was movie night. Me and one in the mosh did the movie night. Yep. And we watched two crazy movies called <laughs> The Greasy Strangler and The Gore Gore Girls. I and, popped in for the Greasy Strangler. Oh yeah! Did you watch any of the Greasy Strangler? I didn't watch any of the Greasy Strangler because I was uh, I was in the midst of formatting my PC. So ah, okay. I was just like popping in and out. It uh, that movie's just insane. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so good, but so weird at the same time. I've been wanting to see that movie for like six years since I saw the trailer, and like the guy's a strangler. He's the Greasy Strangler. He likes really things to eat that are greasy. So he'll be like, there's not enough oil on my food. And he'll just, it'll be just like, oh, just so disgusting. It's, uh, it's really disgusting actually. And the characters are all fucked up and everything is fucked up about yeah. it. But it was so good. It's well directed and everything. And the cinematography is good. And like the lighting and the soundtrack, and everything is good about it. It's just so weird. But it was so funny. I was cracking up so much. Yeah. Like some of the lines and stuff. Oh my god, so good, so good. And then the other one called The Gorgor Rules was like from 1974 or 72. And it's this ridiculous slasher movie where someone is killing strippers. And like it has these crazy like early special effects where he'll be like, or the killer is like killing and like stabbing the woman in the face, but it's clearly like a latex mannequin face. Yeah. And then like pulling out an eyeball and like popping the (laughs) eyeball and like... Just like there's strawberry preserves all over the place. (laughs) It's so it was and like the story was so stupid and the characters were so stupid and the acting was bad and the sound was bad and the soundtrack was bad, (laughs) but it was still good anyways. Yeah. Like it was so stupid, poorly written, poorly directed, like just the whole thing like (laughs) was just a mess, but it was it was good anyways. I I enjoyed it. That's great. 
yeah i had a lot of fun watching it um and the ending was just had one of the stupidest endings of all time where the woman fell out of a window and then a car drove her over her head and that was the end of the movie <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah it was it was ridiculous 10 out of 10 though so uh yeah other than that i didn't uh really watch anything else i tried to watch megan this horror movie that's out about a, like a robotic girl yeah Oh yeah, I saw that. I saw a trailer for that. I really want to watch it, but like on my um totally legal streaming site I like to use, it's yep. not available yet. Uh. Or no, it was available, but it was like a really low quality version that I didn't want to watch. <laughs> I don't know why it was a low quality version. Um and that now there's a better quality version, but it's also like it was recorded off screen. So I'm trying to wait till it's like a little nicer before I legally watch it. Wink wink. <laughs> wink wink and I'll judge you. I'll <laughs> Say no more. Say no more, say no more. Um, but yeah, I really want to watch that one. <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. That's the only thing I watch besides 